Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stock called Freeport MacMoran. So, in this stock of Freeport MacMoran, or uh, the ticker symbol is FCX. Now, what they are talking about is the first para of this press release saying that it's been a great year for this company and not only for this company, this entire sector industry and the stock has already up by 44 47% year to date now the investment case about this is the idea that copper prices can continue to rise over the long term and that a free port is positioned to take advantage of it now they are also talked about the long term demands because uh, this sector only talked about the long term demands as this is cyclical in nature. Now, why this makes very relevant for this company as well as for the entire sector? Because if you are looking at the commodity, the commodity or the entire commodity basket is in its big super cycle, which means whenever it starts, see, understand one thing, whenever commodity super cycle start, it has some reason, it has some fundamentals generally the super cycle doesn't start without a reason and same for the end of that now we are in the initial phase of the commodity super cycle and if you are looking at this uh, more specifically the chart of copper it has recently made a very big breakout so cutting long things short uh, this is a very important thing and for the commodity prices are going to shore up in the upcoming days, months, or probably years. Now, looking at the chart of Freeport MacMoran, you can see the stock is uh, flying very high and with a sharp speed because the stock has actually started moving from the lows of uh, March 2020 and it has already went up by 800%, right? Now, if you are looking at the overall chart, what you can see here is a trend which is like this. And looking at the current price action, you have your next target and that will be in between 60 and $64. Obviously, you must have your uh, stop loss or support level on the downside. So for the time being, you can use your immediate uh, support level or stop loss at 38.97 so don't try to go below 38 dollars on the downside now if you can see this chart you will see the last big highs two big highs that the stock has made was in the year 2008 and 2011 respectively now the thing is we need to calculate the range from the lower toward the higher end of the range and you can see here from this part till this part the stock actually needs to move 455%. Generally, in these cases where you have big resistances, we must not go beyond a specific level, which in case is $64, $65. But because the fundamentals are very strong, so the probability is very high that it will make a breakout this time. Okay. And once it make a breakout, we will have the same kind of percentage or at least at least the minimum return that we are going to expect in the long term will be at $328 okay so this is what we are looking at but for the time being this 300 uh, price mark is a conditional one is a conditional level and it will only get activated once the stock sustain or makes a breakout above $65 and sustain above that then only it will be activated but for the time being you have two short term targets 60 and 64 and beyond that you have 328 300 to 350 dollars on the upside so this is the end of the video thanks for watching